Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel here at the Coco Lynch of Japan. So here for the past couple weekends, I've been working on a uh, workhorse out of the scraps from this uh, this IKEA, from this house. If you are new to my channel, we purchased this uh, vacant house in the countryside of Japan, which is also known as an IKEA. And uh, if you have been watching the news or you're probably interested in this topic is that um, the vacant houses in Japan is a huge problem, especially in the countryside. And so they predict that there are probably about 8.5 to 10 million vacant houses throughout Japan. And uh, so it has caught a lot of attention of uh, uh, especially foreigners. And I'm one of them. So yeah, we've been living here for the past uh, eight, nine months. And so little by little, we're making improvements uh, on the house and the grounds of our uh, property but anyway so um, I spent a couple weekends uh, working on a sawhorse to uh, make it easier on me and my back um, as I chop wood part of the renovation is that we installed a a wood burning fireplace here in the house which are not very common in Japan and then and wood can get actually pretty expensive you can also get um, a lot of free wood or relatively cheap especially if you live in the countryside like we do. So uh, I finally decided to let me go ahead and start working on this uh, sawhorse to make it a little bit easier. And primarily I use scraps from lumber from the, this house uh, when they tore down some, some walls and whatnot. Uh, I did have to buy some plywood. As it progressed, I realized that I could also turn it into a like a multifunctional uh, table for outside as I'm working. So uh, please stay tuned and, uh, and hopefully you enjoy and uh, learn from this process. I am, disclaimer, I am not a carpenter and I have uh, limited tools and expertise. So, uh, but hopefully this helps you and uh, I don't know, just enjoy as we uh, live here in the countryside of Japan and uh, follow our journey. All right, folks, let's go and uh, check it out. Kitty, kitty, kitty. There are cats running around here all over the place. Yeah, and as, as I mentioned, one of the frustrating parts about <laughs> doing this project right now is that uh, I just don't have everything set up. <laughs> uh, when we bought this house, uh, this really nice garage came along with it. And, uh, but it did not have any uh, any power, so we installed the lights in here, and then outlets throughout. And then there's also some outlets over there on the top, so that eventually I could put some garage doors here. And I need to continue uh, finishing this what someone started before, uh, mainly so that I can uh, create some hanging fix fixtures uh, for my tools and everything and then a proper workbench and all this is more wood that we uh, salvaged. So Black Cat, that's the delivery service, kind of like FedEx, UPS in the States, but these guys are freaking efficient. They they will literally go anywhere. Um, they will <laughs> deliver by bike if you're in a really, really remote area, motorcycle, uh, these trucks. But uh, let's say today is uh, Sunday, <laughs> as a matter of fact. So even if you're in the rural area, don't don't be worried. You can uh, order all kinds of stuff on Amazon Japan and uh, they'll come very, very promptly. Back when I was a kid in Mexico, uh, we used to sharpen our uh, our pencils like this with a little razor blade. <laughs> you imagine nowadays at American school how times have changed.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, four pieces here. Cut off a 45 degree angle. They're about 150 centimeters long. Somewhere around here, I'm thinking of cutting like a halfway notch. Uh, still a little bit wobbly. Probably braced the bottom right here. <laughs> I braced it. It was still a little bit wobbly with the first two. So I braced it with these two other pieces of uh, wood that I had in my pile. And you can tell that these were from the old shoji doors, the sliding doors. Because this is where the groove, where the, the door slides. All right, so about to give this bad boy a test. Uh, seems pretty sturdy. <laughs> Folks, uh, uh, please do judge <laughs> uh, with constructive criticism because I have never done this before and I am definitely not a carpenter. So um, if you have any recommendations to improve this or make another one, uh, let me know. <laughs> So after a couple of tries, um, I'm really happy with the sturdiness, but uh, something that I was kind of concerned about from the, from the beginning was um, accidentally going a little too far. <laughs> and you can see right there, a couple of times I already, already did it. So then I just adapted with putting a couple blocks here and so that I can cut in between. And uh, let me see, I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a little V notch right here and there. And so it fit in there so it doesn't move around. And then make another V notch right here so that the piece of the, so that the log does not move around.
All right, good morning, folks. So uh, back to working on the sawhorse again today. It's the weekend, so I have some time to work on it. Uh, but I need to run over to our local uh, DIY store called Conan. So come along with me. Uh, and then after that, I'll be working on the, the removable top so that I can convert it into like a, a working table as well. So uh, kind of a multifunctional. So if you are tuning into our channel because you're interested in living in the countryside of Japan, uh, there are many pros and cons to it. Um, one of the cons, I guess, is that uh, many places can be very remote. So you need to keep in mind as you're looking for your house, uh, is the access to uh, you know different different uh, facilities such as uh, grocery store, convenience store, DIY store, uh, gas station, hospital, and so on, and really access to uh, more uh, long distance uh, transportations such as uh, train station, the uh, bullet train station, airport, and so on. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our uh, little K truck. All right, excuse me if uh, it's a little windy here, but I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick little stop by our convenience store and show you guys everything I was just talking about. So right there in front of us is uh, Homestock. That is our local hardware store. And then literally right across it, there's the, uh, the one gas station we have in town. And then that cool little store right there is a, like a farmer's market where the local people, they bring their produce and stuff like that. And then across the street is our, our one uh, convenience store or Lawson. Uh, if you know anything about the convenience stores in Japan, they're very, very convenient. You can uh, do a lot of business there to include paying your bills and buying concert tickets and stuff like that. And right here to my left is the new hospital that they're building. They've been working on this for over a year, uh, but little by little, looks like it's making a lot of great progress. Look at this. This is very promising to me because it kind of shows that uh, the local uh, government is investing money into this town because it's kind of like the major town for the s smaller towns around this area. And uh, behind Lawson here, you can't see it, is where our grocery store is at. Pretty convenient. And this is literally uh, maybe three minute drive if that from our house. All right, folks, so let's make it over to Homestock. They have some uh, basic stuff here some roses i bought some roses from here before uh the uh, chestnuts miwa is very famous for chestnuts uh peaches grapes cherries okay all right let's go ahead and make it inside I need to get one of these because the one that I've been using right now is not very uh, uh, user friendly. Plus, it's an old thing. Yeah, that's uh, it's about a hundred some dollars. But as you can see, they're pretty pretty well stocked. I mean, they have all the basic stuff that you need, and more than the basics, I could usually find what I need here. And down over there in that section is where they have like uh, more of the household item. Okay, so I got two sheets of plywood and uh, paint for us that I'm going to, it's going to end up being unusable after I'm done. And some uh, water repellent wood protection. All this came out to about $54. All right, let's go ahead and make it home that way. What I'm thinking is I'm going to put one on top draw out the where the i guess the 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 top would be and then sandwich them together and uh, uh and uh and screw them together
but yeah, so this is the top and it can be removed. And here in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and uh, really test the whole purpose of this, which is the soft horse part. And uh, this part right here primarily will be uh, kept inside the garage. So I'm not really that worried about it. I just take it out as I need to do some work outside and I need a, a larger surface uh, working table. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, pull out the chainsaw and see how it works. I still managed to nick it twice because as soon as it cut, it just doop, dropped. And uh, uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know if I need to elevate these a little bit more or just live with it. It is what it is. Again, I think I'm probably getting a little OCD uh, by now. Um, or later on, I'll probably just end up uh, moving these down a little bit lower. So if you're making something like this, probably move it down a little bit lower uh, to keep it from getting nicked. These blocks uh, work pretty good. It, it just kind of keeps it in place and then I can move it around uh, so that I can cut like a smaller logs. Very sturdy. And again, and that serves as a multifunctional work table as you're doing work outside. All right, folks, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video on how to build a sawhorse using scrap lumber from, in our case, from an old traditional Japanese house in the countryside. You see it way over there in the background. Thanks for following our journey here as we live in the countryside of Japan and uh, uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.